Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more uh, Blackjack and Hookers in Europa, Europa Universe Halls 4. I'm going to take these infantry all up to the amount that they're supposed to have. I'm going to pull the cannons off. Start forming up a new one. Slowest loading interface in the entire game. Who knows why. Just takes forever. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting I've got this uh, colony thing I'm supposed to be doing. Well, when this colony finishes, perhaps I'll remember. Maybe. Perhaps. It's too good to pass up, like, we'll just keep the mission. Okay, so that gives us 12 cannons, enough to create two more regiments, two more groups. Income is just coming in so, so heavy right now. Any other buildings we can build? Trade companies? This is showing that it would it would create no in extra wealth, really? Well, just because the autonomy is so high? Well, the goods produced is still worthwhile, so... What's the one that's responsible for ivory? Let's build a whole bunch of ivory trade companies. See if we can get trading in ivory again. Okay, so we parked this army down here, and we were working on getting a claim. We don't have the claim yet, but the claim is almost done. We're not going to use the claim as a CB to, to declare the war anyway. You're going to uh, call on these other guys as well. Ugh. Probably should have just kept you as a protectorate. I mean, in hindsight, I don't really know why I canceled that. It wasn't harming me in any way, and we were getting 100% of the trade part anyway. I just... I saw that I was able to cancel it for no penalty and thought, Oh, these relationships suck. And of course, they don't take a relationship slot, so... There's really no downside to it. I mean, yeah. These guys don't have increased coin cost, but... No, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done it. I should have kept these two guys. Again, I was just so excited about the fact that I could cancel it for free. Netherlands is colonizing. You dirty little bastards. Well, that will obviously not stand. We have another free merchant. Cool. Alright, so we're already getting the maximum transfer trade bonus that we can possibly get, which is 100%. From transferring trade. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, it's showing 11 in there. I thought it was capped at 10, according to one of the patches. Let me count again. 1, 3, 4, 5. There's definitely 11 of them, providing 10% bonus. Trade power, 182%. It's nuts. 82.4 plus the 10 that we're transferring, huh? No, that's not how the math works. Where's the math coming from? Well, here's what we'll do. We'll test that theory. Um, I believe that is what's happening. I mean, the math, 82.4, and then you look here and it shows 82.4 plus 100. I think what it's doing is it's showing the transfers from and then the plus 10, but it is capping it at 10. So what we'll do is we'll send one more merchant up into this area here to transfer trade. The new merchant. And we'll see if the overall bonus we have here increases at all. And if it doesn't, we're going to send that merchant here to collect from trade instead of transferring, because we might as well. <coughs> okay, yep, he was definitely there, and we did not get more transfer trade power. So we will 
revoke you? Well, I'm not there, probably. From here, I don't really care which direction it goes, actually. So, like, this is a... Uh... Well, actually, do we have a... Uh... Yeah, the Inland Trade Power, I guess, is kind of useful. We probably would rather that it go this way, so that it gets an extra transfer modifier. An extra 5.6 bonus. Critical points is nice. Uh, yeah, we'll pull you from here. 49.7. Merchant is going to be in place before the end of the month. Was he? I'm not seeing the modifier from the merchant being there. Why is he not collecting? That's weird. Okay. Now I've lost track of the number that we had before, but I'm pretty sure that it went up. Nope. Okay, yeah. Invest in the naval force, definitely. And, uh, we're happy on relationship slots, but I was thinking about breaking the alliance with Lubick a while back. For now, we'll improve relations with him just in case we decide to keep it. Nothing there that we care about. And our force limit has come up. We're at 132. We do have the force limit advisor right now, so we don't want to build anything else. We would like to continue building ships. We would like to continue building uh, training fields, if we can. I'm continuing to pile my ships into the Genoa node. Until we have just absolute, complete dominance here. We are 80% right now. We want to have like 90%, I think, before we start moving into other nodes. And to do that, we're going to have to get some more of this provincial trade power. You know, there's, there's quite a bit here. <coughs> Still yet to be had. Sending all those extra boats here only put us at 82%. Okay, uh, that makes me rethink it. Probably more that could be done here. Let's try protecting trade in Ragusa. Steal some more money from these guys. 2.26. Making 60 ducats. This month we're going to make... Almost the exact same amount. Alright, well. I guess that's fine. Getting awfully high on points again. Oh, right, I have a colonist free. Okay, so, Beng. Beng. Not Benghazi. Beng Kulu. Sure. And since we're at peace, we might as well see if we can threaten war on anyone. 
Probably the last time Morocco's gonna say yes. We'll take Abda since it borders us. <coughs> what else can we do? We can demand land from Brunei again, maybe? Demand land from you if you're willing to say yes. You might not be. This guy, I think. Expulsion of the Moriscos. Southern parts of Spain were inhabited mostly by Moriscos, Muslims who had converted to Catholicism under the threat of expulsion. Many, however, continued secretly to practice Islam, and at times provided the Ottoman Turks with information facilitating Turkish raids on the Spanish coast. Gain papal influence, but gain unrest. Good, yeah, get out of here. Okay, and we had also positioned ourselves to attack Congo, but we were going to do that, I think, after we re re or whatever you'd call it, these guys. Which may take a little while. Our overlord abandoned us. Yes, I did. I'm sorry, okay? It was a mistake. It was a misunderstanding. We gained another merchant. That'd be a bad idea to start trying to protect trade actually in Alexandria. I think that'd be maybe more beneficial than trying to force it from here. I think I'll take the ships that are protecting trade in Ragusa and just send them all to Alexandria. And then what we could do is, is actually, if we just steered inland, just to, again, we don't want the money to go into Venice. Venice is a dead zone for us. But if we force it inland, we would be pushing toward an inland node. We get our, our caravan power bonus. We just force it this way. We're already helping to force a lot of money this way, and then from here to here, and then here to here to here to here. So that seems like that might be fine. So 60 was about what we were making before. We'll see how we end up doing here at the end. About the same. Um, it's fine. It's going to continue to evolve, I think, as we build more and more ships. Build ships. So have room for 70 some ships. Holy crap. It's just it's just outstanding the amount of ships we can make. Well, we're out of money. Good problem to have, I guess. Still have 40, 40 more ship slots available. The French separatists are going to fire soon. We're at full maintenance already, though. Same thing with the Genoese separatists. If I get the overextension gone, it was actually already almost gone before I, you know, so rudely stole land from other people again. It's going to be January soon, though, which will uh, lower our separatism by a little bit. And... These cores are going to take a long time. Uh, that sort of sucks. I'd rather spread it out, though. Would you give me another province? You would. Wonderful. 
solves that problem. Now we have no issues getting there. And is there anything I can do to get you to, uh, yeah, we'll grant Monopoly Charters. That gives us our development cost modifier. We'll raise your influence a bit by granting uh, the New World Charter. And now we have a good discount on our development cost, so we'll do that. Again, we'll just sort by cost, lowest cost, and then we'll just bump up a little bit of manpower here and there. That's decent for now. No, you may not have military access. We will recover. Severe plague. Okay. And our clergy are demanding more territory. Well, I'm going to give them this one because this is going to be a province we need to convert anyway. So, you are in charge of this province. Less unrest, better conversion strength, good stuff. Trade companies, you guys ready to become protectorates again? I'm sorry. It was a mistake, come back to me. Spanish Absududu. Absududu. You are very low on tariffs. We will tax it. And all we need to do with you is just get you above zero. And you will accept. And then we can attack Congo. Wipe him off the map. Get rid of that problem. Okay, one more month. The rebellions are pretty much just going to happen here. Just the French, and even even the French are unlikely. All right, here we go. That's all done. Might as well. This navy can come home because I think what we're going to end up doing is just marching that army all the way around the southern tip of Africa. Ah, shoot, we can't do that. There is no marching along the southern tip of Af Africa, is there? There's like wasteland and crap in the way. Well, nonetheless, it won't take very long. <clears throat> We're going to use them to try to protect her at Mar Mar Mutapa. I have all these diplomats free, yet again. Um, we're not rivals with France, but I think I'll probably fabricate on them anyway. I want Lyonnais. Definitely. It's one of the last provinces we need in this node, and it's an uh, important center of trade. So, if we can get that, that'd be pretty damn good. No fun, like, personal unions are available right now.
don't care about these guys. Just a bunch of little one province miners trading land. They don't matter. Okay, income is above 60 now on trade, which is good. We're forcing more money away from the Ottomans, which is also good. Commonwealth is ahead of Ottomans now. We're double the Ottomans now. They're stealing their trade income. <coughs> which is good stuff. Right, and also down here are our, our new guys <laughs> we've brought back in again. We don't want to seize territory, we want to just divert trade on both of them. And you, sir, need to cease to exist. And let's go see if we can protect her at uh, Malacca. Was it Malacca? Mutapa. Mutapa. Which is this one guy. This 120 stack. Should be enough. He's on tech uh, 13. He's, he's pretty up there. He's got no allies, though. And if we can get this guy's trade power and then enforce, you know, divert trade from him, we'll get a whole bunch of trade power from this node. There's an extra 9.8 base ducats there that could get multiplied over and over and over again. And he's got 83% control of this node. It's like I should have done this ages ago. The amount of money we could have had here would have been pretty ridiculous over the years. I don't think we want to become Defender of the Faith. I do think that we want to... maybe take the time to convert some of these provinces. Might not be worth the effort, honestly. It just kind of bothers me having provinces that are not the right religion. Even if they are overseas. And we're so good at conversion. Get converting that like Kalapa let's just say okay that's not a, not a good example let's just say I remove this from the trade company 15 months yeah let's, let's keep our missionaries busy let's work on converting them even though we don't have to Alright, good stuff. Almost there, in fact. We build one more. Bam. We're gonna go straight up to, uh, to 273 light ships. We're gonna go up to our force limit in light ships. We'll go over the force limit slightly, I think. I believe we'll end up making more money that way. The cost doesn't start to increase until you hit your force limit on each individual ship class, so... Even though we'll be over the force limit and it will cost us, um, it's not going to be very much. And the base price of the ships won't go up either, so... The overall amount that we're spending on ships is very, very minor. Each individual light ship, I think, is only like 0 .03 or 0 .04 ducats a month. 0 .06, in fact, apparently. Why is it so much? Hmm. I guess maybe I was thinking about Briggs. Could have been. Or no, it was galleys that are like 0.03. <coughs> okay. Uh, three years till tech. Oh, we should go to war with somebody soon. Our force limit is pretty strong. Um, these armies are composed the way that I like. The new way that I like, 1226, which seems uh, different to me. But will work.
of four more claims. Very excited about this uh, development efficiency, administra administrative efficiency that we're going to pick up next tech. Okay, um, Alexandria again, I think. How's that node looking now? We don't have a diplomat, we don't have a merchant in Alexandria. Excuse me? Okay, that's wrong. Okay, so we're making 54 ducats a month. Did we lose a merchant? No. Alright, well the guy who's in Tunis, come here. <coughs> Weird. Maybe I made a mistake when I was moving guys around or something. I was sending all these, all these freaking ships here and getting nothing from it. Yeah, we were making 60 at one point, so something, something went wrong. Let's wait this last month and see what it does. Yeah, it's okay. I think we might still be better off doing this. It's a minor difference. Okay, so we put down these rebellions, and then we can actually lower maintenance finally. Actually, no we can't, because now that we're down here, we need to clear this war on Mutapa, who has no allies. His capital should be, yeah, right here. So we'll work on getting to, getting to his capital. We're just going to enforce this guy to be a protectorate. And I think we'll be in a good spot. But for now, um, and I should have done this a while ago, let's take a break here. I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.